Hello again and welcome to Click Workshops and today we're going to be talking about rates and financial. Um, what I'm going to do first is show you how to set up the rates and to do that we go to settings, settings and here we have rates and work hours. As you can see you've got your time item settings, we're going to use engineer rate for charge out rate and then you've got your cost out rates. Um, these are all your start times and end times basically for those time items which you will add in job sheets etc and these are your lunch times um, that you would use um, I'm going to use, use engineer rates for now in the time item settings but here we have your actual rates now what you do first generally um, I tend to find is I, I, I would create a label first and I'd call it normal rate and what would happen you'd have work rates here and you'd see all your work rates and what that label will be you'll see it on the CRM financial side it's called normal rate um, and you have your work rates travel rates mileage rates and call out charges um, and at the top here we have all your default rates um, I'm gonna do a call out charge um, every customer we have is going to have a call out charge of £50. Um, I'm also going to say the normal work rate is going to be the normal engineer charge rate. So that's £10 an hour, and our cost rate is going to be £5 an hour. These are all ones that I've made earlier. So if you look here, we've got work rates. My normal engineer charge rate is £10. My normal engineer cost rate is £5. And that's the cost rate. And it's got a little tick just to say that it's got a cost rate. So we've got that here. I'm going to do an overtime work rate as well. I'm going to do charge out rate of normal engineer overtime rate 1, which is £30 an hour. And then I'm going to do my normal engineer overtime cost rate which is £20 an hour. Now, obviously, you can change these to whatever you want when you create your new rates. Um, for this purpose, I'm going to apply these rates to all my customers because I know all my customers are going to have exactly the same rate. But you don't need to do this. You can have specific rates for customers if you wish. But in this instance, I'm going to do apply to all customers. And it's going to tell me, am I sure that I want to replace all my rates with existing customers? Yes, I do. So, yes, we go. And off it whirls away. And it's going to make all those changes for me. And it's given me a little success message saying rates have applied successfully, which is always good. Now I press OK. And I press OK again. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a customer. Let's go to click. And as you can see, all my rates are now within this customer. Um, which is absolutely brilliant so what will happen now every time you create a job that charge out rate will be populated so it'll be 50 pounds straight away on that job and you'll also get these options so when you do a normal engineer rate it knows it's 10 pounds an hour and those five pounds an hour so you don't have to fill in as much as you would do if you were creating a time item in a job okay now you've also got your financial screen which we talked a little bit about in the beginning of CRM and I think I probably did go through mostly through it all but we'll, we'll, go, we'll go through it again here. Um, again the first bit is your currency, you can change your currency, um, you click on the three dots and you can change the currency, currency in here uh, to euro and it has all your exchange rates when that rate date was created. Um, you can also display what sort of sign they have. So we've got um, a euro sign and it tells you the decimal points and all that, etc. Um, and it shows here the ISO is euro <coughs> symbols as well. Um, just press OK on there. So you've got loads of little tick boxes. Cease trading, so they're no longer trading. Uh, you can click on that and it'll, it'll come up here and here. And also on hold, so you could have in brackets click limited, cease trading, on hold, cash only. Uh, but I'm going to untick these all and you'll see it just goes away. You've got click limited, Tom Ford. And you've got miscellaneous, could literally be anything. It could be uh, uh, moving, something like that. They're moving sites, so you can just put a little colour on there. So your 
you know that they may be moving soon or moving sites or something like that. Um, you can do anything you like here. Um, the next bit is commissioned. Um, you can say that this customer, if a, you have a sales guy, and he's under the sales that they are, this customer will be is will be your commission will take in effect of whatever sales is created for this particular customer. Um, you can also put credit limit on. Um, so 50,000, for example, terms of when they need to pay the invoice by, uh, their customer nominal code, their supplier nominal code, and their accounts department. You've also got different tax codes. So you've got general tax code, 20%. Uh, materials, you can obviously create different tax codes. Uh, for example, five here, 5% for materials, or anything you want, really. Um, call out as well, you might want to put that down to 5% or... Obviously, 20%, I think, would be normal. Um, you can tick override product VAT codes. So when you create a job or a piece of material or anything, you can override those product VAT codes whenever you want. And you can put the VAT number of the company, and you can put the markup and discount of that company. Um, okay, we're going to go back to rates, because rates are quite important. Um, you can also, rather than the customer have rates, your engineer has rates. Um, you go to settings and stuff. And when you're in here, you select an engineer. We've got Jeff Adams, he's ticked as an engineer. And we'll go to his rates. You can see his rates aren't here in a moment. I'm going to give a mileage rate that I created earlier. Engineer mileage rate. <laughs> Uh, this is saying it's locked by user admin. Do you want to lock the weight? I'm going to say yes. So we've got one pound a mile charge rate, and in cost rate, we've got 0 0.50, well, 50 pence per mile basically. Um, and I'm going to put his normal rate in as well. His charge rate is 10 pounds an hour, and uh, overtime cost rate. What this allows you to do basically, rather than doing whatever the customer rates are, you can select the engineer's rates, which could be different. Um, and maybe different what you can also do is you can do a custom one as well so I want to do a custom I want to say the first one hour with this particular engineer is at zero hours then after that after then uh, then it will be uh, 30 pounds so after the first hour it's three basically zero pounds then after that first hour it's 30 pounds so I'm going to do the cost rate again as well. So uh, put that up to one hour. And then it's going to cost me £15. It's going to cost £15 to the company for this particular engineer. So I'm going to save that. So here we go. The normal rate is now changed to the custom one that I've created. So first hour free, then £30 an hour. So first hour, then 15 hour. So you can do that. So you might want to do custom ones for every particular engineer. But if you have lots of predefined ones, you can do that as well. So I'm going to close that. And I think that's it for uh, rates. Um, ooh, you've also got travel rates if you want. So you might have a travel cost and time as well. And again, for the customer, you might have a particular mileage rate for the customer. Again, with the engineer, you can have a particular mileage rate for that engineer. Um, that concludes the rates and financial. Thank you very much. Bye.